Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. When you think about modern liquid fuel stoves, you usually think about stoves from the company MSR, in particular the MSR Whisper Light, which we've done a review on here on the channel. There are certainly other players in the game and today we're going to take a look at a stove that I found recently from Primus. It's a white gas or naphtha stove. You can also run other things through it, but regardless it is a great alternative to the MSR Whisper Light series. Stay tuned, we're going to check out this really cool stove from Primus. Thanks for watching guys. Now, as I've said here on the channel before, I've not really used white gas stoves a lot in my time. Now, yes, we call it white gas here in America. It's think through most of the world that's known as naphtha, but we call it white gas. Coleman fuel, whatever. Liquid fuel stoves are usually reserved for extreme type conditions, especially extreme wind, extreme cold. I live in Louisiana. Uh, we are often below sea level and it really doesn't get very cold. I mean, I'm in Arkansas right now. It's beginning of October and it's like 80 degrees, which is so annoying, just annoying to sweat. There's nothing about liquid fuel stoves that I would favor over isobutane in my conditions, basically, but to be the stove guy, I got to cover all my bases. I've not been the biggest fan of the Whisper Light, but I'll tell y'all what, I like this stove. So we're going to say hello to the OmniLite TI multi-fuel backpacking stove kit from Primus. It is a kit. You get a fuel bottle along with the, uh, the valve that sits right in here. You get the stove itself. We'll go ahead and open that up for you. It's got three legs. You also get a huge instruction manual. You get a foldable windscreen and heat reflector. I haven't gotten it out yet, no reason to, so I'm just gonna leave it out. Obviously you get a fuel bottle top. You get a couple of extra things. You get a bottle, a uh, little, little bottle of silicone grease, okay? You get a little multi-tool, which is very nice. This is how you can take it apart uh, if you need to do any service to it, it's got the correct size uh, socket there. I don't know if you guys can see this right there. We'll put it down. Maybe you can see it. Anyway, it's just a little needle to clean out uh, any impurities. It's just a nice little multi-tool. Also comes with two extra jets. These jets are different sized. Uh, 3.2 and 2.5. You'll have to switch them out if you want to use it appropriately with uh, gasoline or kerosene. You can even use jet fuel. I'm not sure which one you have to do for that. By the way, you also get this massive, massive carry case. All right. Um, it's actually nice. I mean, you can carry all your stuff in here. I'll back y'all out so you can see exactly how big this thing is. It's, it's big. All right. <laughs> very cool though. Very nice. Dimensions of the stove are 4.5 by 3.5 by 2.2. Weight is a very impressive 12 ounces. That's it guys. 12 ounces for the stove. Power is 8,900 BTUs, made out of titanium and brass. It's uh, made in Estonia, which is where, where I can see most of the Primus gear is made. As I said, it comes with those multiple nozzles. You can use it with white gas, kerosene, gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, pretty much anything you want to throw in there. Uh, price is $149 for this whole kit, which I think is pretty good. Two things I want to highlight will be over here. So first off is how you attach this. Instead of having to twist this, this actually turns, okay? So you can pop this on here and just turn like this. And you don't have to worry about um, just you know, contorting this to fit. You know. Oh, that is so, so nice. I hope you guys can see that. You just twist this. The other thing is this knob right here. What a convenient and easy knob to use as opposed to one of those big flat wire things. I really like this quite a bit more. I'm going to show you guys how to light this bad boy up. It's similar to other liquid fuel stoves. You just can't turn it on and go to town. You have to preheat the stove so that you can get the liquid fuel and turn it into vapor so it will burn in this nice little stove. We've got the fuel bottle attached. You want to make sure that again that it's nice and tight and this is completely depressurized. So we're going to pump 20 times. Now don't worry guys, I'm going to show you guys this when it gets a little darker too and you'll be able to see things a lot better, but we'll go ahead and go through the procedure now. There is, I don't know if you can see it, it's upside down, but there is a little off right there and there's a little on right there. So obviously we want to start in the on position and you're going to be able to turn the stove off when you're ready to by switching this over to the off. You just go from on and you flip this over to off and you'll see 
that it'll starve it for fuel. So we've got it pumped up. Now what you want to do is you want to release just a little bit of, fl of um, fuel. That's perfect. So just release that fuel and light it up. Now you want to wait, okay? And you just want to let it completely burn out, maybe 45 seconds. There's a temptation to turn it on before it fully um, fully stops. And if you do that, you'll see here, well, you're gonna end up burning liquid. Like that, okay? It's that big, Ooh, like that. That's just liquid, all right? So you wanna just let it preheat. Just be patient, let it burn itself out. And then after it does, you should be able to light it up pretty easily. There's gas. And you can see, you can't see it, you can hear it. Again, I'll do this at night. And you're burning fumes now. Turn it up. There's that sound. It's like a little jet engine. Now let me show y'all how cool this is. All right. It is going. Grab this, flip it over. What that's doing is it's taking the fuel pickup in here and it's putting it above the level of the fuel so that if you just give it a little time here. What you're doing is burning all the fuel that's in the system so that you can store it away safely. All right, it took about 60 seconds. We'll just, woo, it's still trying. That's pretty much all the gas out of there. I'm just gonna let it burn. There you go, closed up, ready to store. Now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna wait a couple hours till it gets quite a bit darker. We're gonna go through that again. I wanted you to see it clearly in the light, but once it's darker, we will go ahead and restart it and show you the flame pattern really nice. All right, we are back. We're gonna put this into the on position. Give it 20 pumps. Once again, what you're gonna do, you won't be able to see it, but I'm going to open this and I see plenty of fuel coming out. So basically out of the jet, you get liquid fuel. Light it up. Maybe. Am I out of gas here? There we go. All right. So you light it up just like that. Now is where you're patient, guys. Just be patient. If you try to light it too quickly, what will end up happening is that instead of shooting out a gas or vapor, it'll shoot out more liquid and it'll just kind of blow up. But it will get very boisterous. We're just careful. Just be patient. One thing that I do like about this stove as well over the Whisper Light, I use the same fuel, which is actually the MSR Super Fuel or whatever is what I'm using today. I use that or the Coleman White Gas. This does not create a lot of soot. The, um, the Whisper Light creates a tremendous amount of soot. It just, it's just crazy. This doesn't get that dirty, which is awesome. So we're starting to get near the end here. So I'm gonna just crank this on. There you go. About that, huh? You can see our flame control. Get pretty low there. Look at that. Let me zoom y'all in. You are nice and low, we'll crank it up. And I won't talk because you can't hear me. Position. We're just going to flip this over, just like that. Let 
There you go. Shut off. Close that. And you're good to go. How about that for an awesome looking freaking stove? So we're gonna talk pros and cons. And from the standpoint of pros, we're gonna start with the wide flame. It's very good for bigger pots, which a lot of times when you're out in uh, cold conditions, you might wanna have a bigger pot, make a bigger meal. People may be hungrier. You may need to melt snow or whatever. You want that wide pot base ability. Got excellent flame control. It's also very easy to service in the field. All of these white gas, uh, stoves are very, very similar. They're designed to be able to keep them going in the field with these little maintenance kit. This comes with a very nice little maintenance kit. You can get a maintenance kit for the MSRs, but it's very, very easy to take care of. And even for me, who doesn't have a lot of experience with these stoves, it's not hard to figure out how they work and what you need to do to fix them up. It's multi-fuel capable, which is really, really nice. It comes with everything you need. Some of these stoves you get white gas, you have to buy a fuel bottle, some you have to buy a pump. This one comes with everything you need straight in the box. For a stove like this, it is pretty much ultralight, and I have to say that the on-off positioning of the bottle is pure genius. Talked about it in my whisper light video, but I always have fuel left over in the fuel line. It spills everywhere. Once again, if there's a way to fix that, make sure you let me know down below. Every time I shut off the whisper light, and I disconnect it from the fuel line, there's white gas everywhere. With this thing, it's beautiful. As you saw, you just flip it over, wait a few seconds and it turns off. It's just, it's just beautiful. Cons are, well, of course it is fairly large overall. There's no way around that, but you expect that with this kind of stove. It's heavy because you have to carry the fuel bottle, but the stove itself is very lightweight. Price is pretty high, but again, I think when you compare it to other stoves that are similar to this, even stoves that are heavier than this, it's a very good price point considering the fact that you get everything you need with it, including the fuel bottle. And as with all liquid fuel stoves, they can be a sooty mess at times. You just have to be careful and um, wash your hands. Recently, I've kind of dived straight into Primus stoves. This is the fourth stove that I get from Primus and review, and I really am impressed with the quality, and I really like this stove. This is the first kind of liquid fuel stove besides the Svea that I would really consider taking out with me on a regular basis. I really like it better than the Whisper Light in pretty much every category. Uh, and the Whisper Light's a great stove. This one just has a couple of tweaks that are really, really special. The on off bottle, that's where it's at. I do hope to make it to some higher and colder elevations in the next year or so. I might head out to Colorado, I might try to get up on a mountain just so that I can use one of these white gas stoves in the environment it was designed for. Uh, I'll definitely be taking this particular stove or my Svea or both. I'll definitely be taking this stove with me if I go on a trip like that. What do you guys think? What do y'all think about this stove? Do you think it's uh, not as good as the Whisper Light? Is it overpriced? Is it underpriced? What do you guys think? Make sure you leave comments down below. It really helps. I love reading y'all's comments. I cannot uh, respond to every one of them. I'll just be honest with y'all. And as much as the channel grows, over time, it's even harder to, uh, to respond to everything, but I do try to answer as many specific questions as I can, and I love learning for you guys. So leave comments down below. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below. It really does help spread things across YouTube. Uh, it's all I really ask from you guys. Just hit that thumbs up, if you will. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button, and if you, if you wanna make sure you don't miss any videos, hit that notification bell, and you will be the first to know. It is a beautiful day. I'm gonna go try to do some fishing back here again have had very little luck, to be honest with you guys. It's very frustrating, very frustrating. If you guys have ideas of other white gas or liquid fuel stoves you'd want me to check out and do reviews on, leave them down in the comments as well. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.